Hey, what's going on guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Today we're looking at five of my favorite winners of the NFL Combine at the wide receiver position. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's start off fast, literally, with Tyquan Thornton's 42840, which was the top of the class. Not only does he have elite football speed, but this is a man who has legit track speed. Thornton caught 62 passes for 948 yards and 10 touchdowns as a senior in 2021 for Baylor and is now one of the major darlings of the NFL Combine. Thornton was a day three guy on most boards prior to the Combine. After finding out this guy will roll into the NFL as one of the fastest players in the league, I'm sure an NFL team is bound to take a shot on this guy on day two. Let's watch some clips. Iquan Thornton of Baylor. These times are unofficial. However, if it's official, we have a new fastest man in the history of the combine. I thought he stumbled. Number four of my winners list is Alec Pierce out of Cincinnati. Alec Pierce is a freak athlete. His 41 inch vertical topped the group and contributed to his 9.98 athletic score relative to his wide receiver peers, which is second to just Christian Watson, which we'll get to in a little bit. Last season, this is a guy who ate press coverage for breakfast with his solid array of quickness and body control. This guy is the total package when it comes to dominating in the red zone due to his plus size. He's got good length. He's got natural hands to extort his body and make plays on the ball. I think Alec Pierce's excellent performance in the combine has got him locked into day two of the NFL draft. Let's watch some highlights. During the commercial break was Alec Pierce as soon as we went to break from Cincinnati. Boom. And that's not a surprise. 4-3-3. He, three, three. He's a strong, powerful runner who runs away from everybody when you watch him on tape. Great game. Unbelievable. And Cup and him had such an, a, con a connection this year. And the neat part about it as we watch Alec Pierce go through this is we, none of us when we're sitting here watching. Coming in number three on my winner's list is Calvin Austin out of Memphis. Heading into the combine, there was no question that this guy was one of the fastest guys at the event. This 5'8", 170-pound wide receiver did not disappoint, running a 4'3", 240-yard dash. Austin has excellent release off the line of scrimmage with elite-level burst, acceleration, and vertical speed to fit any offense in the NFL. Calvin Austin's excellent performance will generate him enough buzz to be taken in that back end of day two of the NFL draft. Let's watch some of the highlights. Spoiler alert, Rich. He's very fast. 4-3-2. Okay. We see you. Calvin Austin. Smooth. Coming in number two on my winner's list at the wide receiver position is Christian Watson. Christian Watson ran a 4.36 40-yard dash at 208 pounds, which is really impressive. He posted other excellent test results like an 11 foot 4 broad jump and a 38 and a half vertical jump. He looks smooth in his routes during drills. Christian Watson was a standout during the Senior Bowl and is likely now pushing for a top 50 draft pick. He's a six foot four burner that can create separation on all three levels of the field. In addition to possessing elite size, speed, and versatility, he's also a major weapon in the return game. Under the right offensive system that gets him moving and utilizes his versatility, Christian Watson could be one of the biggest sleepers in this entire draft. Let's watch some highlights. Watson. Christian Watson, the school that sent us Trey Lance and the current quarterback as it stands right now here in these drills. But these guys here, I mean, they've been giving nice balls to kids. Well, some of it, too, is, you know, quarterbacks. Some of the quarterbacks are not understanding yeah, which nice drills there. are for the quarterback and which drill for the... Number one on my winner's list is Chris Olave out of Ohio State. Chris Olave was the best receiver in Thursday's group of wide receivers. He's been called a smooth route runner since he arrived at Ohio State, and he did nothing to change that reputation, catching everything his way on Thursday. His 439 40-yard dash impressed more than his 32-inch vertical and his 10-4 broad jump. It doesn't matter, though. Olave likely solidified himself as a top two or three wide receiver in this class with a lock for the top 20 in the 2022 NFL Draft. 
Chris Olave is one of the most polished route runners in this class. He's got an excellent release and solid quickness to thrive in a passing offense that focuses on quick passes to get Chris Olave in space. Let's watch some highlights. But didn't he already propose to his child? He's got a child. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. He's taken. <laughs> He's taken. Trouble, He's taken. Sorry. Young uh, Layton, if you're watching, go back to bed. <laughs> Chris Olave, <laughs> four, two, six people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's like, I've seen that before. Those are my top five winners of the NFL Combine. Did I miss anybody? Let me know in that comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Crockpot. Stay awesome, everybody.